Good. Perfect. Um, can you, is Pastor, I forgot your name. Pastor Collins. Pastor Collins. Um, could you just give us a little snippet, just a general, why you've got a financial plan? Amen. Um, I'm a member of Genista. Okay. So, yeah, you know, okay, so I'm a member of Genista. So I did my financial game plan with one of my uh, supervisors. Yeah, and then through that, he, she took me through for me to see because there were some few things that I was really not doing it right. But through the financial game plan, I was able to know things that I'm supposed to do and which um, things that I'm not supposed to do. So I've just done the financial game plan, yeah. Excellent, excellent. Can you just give him a round of applause there? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing that. So I'm just wondering, is there anybody else has been, has been thinking about your finances? Have you been thinking about the money that you've got in the bank, however much, it doesn't really matter? Have you been thinking about what money you've been making on your money in the bank? Anybody? You want to come forward quickly? I know oh no, oh no, I should put you on the spot, but we're all friends here. We're all brethren. We're all brethren here. What's your name? Isla. Gisla. Gisla, please meet you. Um, I haven't necessarily got a financial plan, but I do think about my finances in terms of, well, in this world, you can't live on one income. So you need to think of different ways that your money can work for you. So if it's through investments, stocks, um, financial funds, those are the kind of things that I do think of at the back of my mind. And then sometimes I do have some friends who actually work in the financial sector, so I do speak to them about advice about that as well. I want to hold, hold it here for a moment. Do you know why? She's smarter than me. I mean, seriously. <laughs> so could you tell me, if you don't mind, um, have you started doing anything? apart from putting the money in the bank, which you know, which she's just realized it's better than putting the money in the bank. Or have you started anything at all? Um, yeah, I've put like some money in like some hedge funds as well, which I was told that if I am someone who wants the money quickly, I shouldn't do that. So I have to be patient about it. So what I try and do is put the money there and forget about it because it's like a long-term investment, basically. And then I've tried to think about cryptocurrency, but that's a bit risky. Uh, no, no, but that's a bit risky. I don't really know about it. So what I'm trying to do is read about it as well. Because with, with, with whatever you're putting your money into, you need to read about it before you do it, to be honest. So, yeah, it's just the hedge funds and then just having saving accounts. And also, especially if you're thinking about buying a house, before, when I read about it, there was um, the help to buy ISA. So I tried to do that before the deadline came. Um, I haven't been religiously putting into it, but at the beginning I did, because I was thinking about, oh, one day I'd want to buy a house. So that's some things I think about as well. So, yeah. Uh, wow, wow, wow. Can you join my team, please, as we travel around the country? Yeah, sure. I've got a new team member. Wait, wait, don't go yet, don't go yet. Because she's got so much knowledge, I want to talk to you. Old, old are you? I'm 29. 29? Wow. Uh, <laughs> when did you start? When did you start? Looking in your finances. Um, I've always been financially is it financially aware? aware yes it's only because my mom always told me from young like just always make sure you have money because you never know what's going to happen in the future yeah, rainy day aside. exactly always put money aside so i've always thought about that but at the same time i know like i can't live on my income alone so i need to keep thinking about what i can do my money needs to work for me i need to be rich amen rich you will be amen, amen. <laughs> just give her a round of applause wow Wow, wow, wow. I just can't believe this. I'm just thinking, I have to bow to you, <laughs> so to speak. Um, so, yes, yeah, so you've touched on a few little bits and pieces of what we do. So, Amy Finance um, Academy, we do various things like um, invest in property, but there's different strategies. There's not just um, doing rental as well, so we do that as well. Um, so, we do different strategies about how to manage your money when you're doing rental, when you're doing uh, managing property, and the best way, the best way to do this. So, I'm myself, I'm part of a um, me mentorship program, and I'm part of a mastermind um, a property um, program as well that's, that's helping me to get better. So, every single one of you in this room, okay, should have a finance mentor. Every single one. The pastor's got, got a financial mentor, haven't you? So every single person needs to have a, a mentor. So your pastor's your mentor for your spiritual needs, and that's 
That's the most important thing in the world, apart from the finances. That spiritual, your spiritual life is first. But you also need to have uh, a mentor to support you. Um, so I mentor quite a, a lot of people, and people come to me requesting for me to be their mentor. I don't mind. So if anyone you want to come and ask me, then we can talk about this afterwards. So the other thing that we look at is when you're managing your budgets at, at home and you're looking into things, like people go to different um, compare websites to make sure they're getting the best deal. Don't sit on a company year in and year out and think you have to be obligated to, I won't call in the company's name, but obligated to um, supplies, various supply services. You need to look around as well. So what we will do, we will give you um, links and tools and information that can help you to actually deal with your personal finances because we all get, some of us work in a day job and you need to be able to make it work, that money work for you as much as possible. So what we will do, because um, time is short, we normally go through like an off day seminar. It's normally an off day and we go through stuff and we sit with you individual and we'll give you consultations. That's what we would normally do because time is short. So what we, what we would suggest, what I'm gonna do, we are gonna get some free tools um, sent, sent to yourself through Sister Enid and then she will then send those information onto yourselves and then you can then look at analyzing all your incomes, all your um, expenses that you have outgoing and then you need to ask yourself, is this making me any money or is this just a necess necessity for me to live? So your lighting is a necessity for you to live but is it the right company? Are they giving you the right deals? And you can also say to them, I don't think you give me a right deal. I, I, need to, I need you to look into this for me, please. So you can empower yourself, and that's how you do. And then, lovely sister, I forgot your name, Gisla, was saying, she's talking about various other investments and things. So she talked about crypto, and she said, that's a, a fluctuating market. She's correct. So I didn't go into crypto. Right, I didn't go into it. So way back when it, when it was out, and somebody told me about Bitcoin, for example, I didn't understand it, okay? So I didn't touch it. <laughs> I did not understand it. So if I did, I, I may still be here, of course, but I'm thinking I wouldn't be ever doing other things that I'll, I'll be doing because I'll be okay, and I'll be doing a lot of work for charity because that charity is close, close to my heart. So I've now over a year and a half, learned about the crypto space, I've learned about the Bitcoin space, I learned about the property space, um, and I've received a lot of mentorship to understand what that multiple streams of income is so important. Has somebody got any questions? I think I thought I heard someone saying something. If you've got any questions, just ask me now. If you've got any questions about anything I've just said. Any questions? No? No. Okay, so I think I'm doing okay then if nobody's got any questions. So when you, when you look at your, for example, if you share accommodation with individuals and they take out loans and debts and stuff, it's only when you wanna do that, that's when you find out there's something against the property that you live in. So you need to be able to know how you can clear your name and say that person's not associated with me. So whoever you're associated with, right, whoever you're associated with is so important especially when you're looking at getting a loan and things like that, different, different things to further your, your, your visions. So it's important that you do have a vision and you do have a plan. Um, I don't know how many in here are self-employed. Okay. Uh, what do you do? Oh, sorry, what's your name first and foremost? Wisdom. Wow, wisdom. This church is a pack of intelligent people. Wow, <laughs> wisdom. So I'm into building construction industry. Construction industry. Which one are you? Construction industry. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. So, so how long have you started there? It's been five years. And how's it going? Great. You said it's going great. Wow. Wow. So he's making loads of money. How much making? Amen. <laughs> he's making amen, okay? Yeah? He's making amen. Um, who else started their own business? Well, I think this gentleman over here. You want to, you want to bravely step forward. <laughs> and what's your name, sir? Oh, they're giving you a mic. Uh, my, my name is Evans. It's Evans. 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 Yeah. Pleased to meet you, Evans. Thank you. Evan. Evan. You see, I noticed these little names and things. It's, it's an int. It's an int. Evan. 
Okay, brilliant, Evans. Yeah, I'm also in construction industry. You are? Construction industry. And that's, yeah. that's your business? Yeah. And how long have you been? Oh, five, six years. Oh, five, six years. You can see why he's dressed in dapper. It's five, six years. He's in the money, right? Yeah. He's in the money. So how, how's it going for you? Yeah, not bad. Yeah. Doing well? Yeah. Could it do better? Huh? Could it do better? Uh, yeah, hopefully. Good, good, good. We can help with that. Um, <laughs> what else? What else? If, if you had a little wand to go, dush, what would you want to happen for your business? If, if, you, if you had a little wand, anything wanted, and you would just wave that wand and, and it happened, what would you want for your business to uh, make yeah. it get to the next level? Yeah, I need to expand it because I've got other business ideas. Wow, okay. And the capital as well. So you've got other business ideas as well? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Can you share one or two with them, with us, or not? It's up to you. You don't have to. Just in case somebody wants to steal the idea, I, I understand. If you don't want to, but do you want to share anything? Is that a no? You don't yeah, have to. Yeah, I will. Um, so um, I also want to open a tuition center. Tuition, a what? Tuition center. Tuition. Yeah. Ooh. Because I teach maths. So. Ooh, maths. Oh, I, I didn't like maths. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, so you want to teach what? Children, yeah, adults? Children. children. Maths. Yeah. Right. We can talk later. Yeah, all right. Brilliant. Thank you so much. See, we've got some smart people in this place. Really smart. Even the names tell you. Evans. Wow. Wow, wow. <laughs> so, guys, I just want to thank you so much for, you know, being here and smiling with me. I can see all these smiley faces. I think you guys have got loads of money already because you're smiling. It's like, wow. I think you're just spiritually rich, right? Spiritually rich, that's what it is. So, I just want to introduce you now to, uh, to Des. Des Amy. So, Des Amy, um, he owns a financial academy and he teaches as well and um, he's been doing that for quite a few years now in partnership with one of his other directors so Des himself used to be a teacher so he used to be a deputy ed teacher and he can tell you the story right we love our children so dearly and we want them to do well and Des was struggling with his monthly salary you don't mind me saying that do you he was traveling paid it was struggling pay to, to paycheck so he's done exceptionally well now. And what he does as well, he helps other people. He mentors. He's my mentor. So he mentors a lot of people, okay, to help them with financial freedom. He's also got a, the Trading Academy, where he actually helps, to, helps people with um, trading, and he's in the crypto space, and so on and so on. He's in the property space as well. So he does a lot of things, and he gives a lot of free tools to help you um, manage your finances. So what I want to do now is Anna today because time's going. Thank you, Des, for being here. Thank you for sharing your time with us. Wow, guys, let me just hand it right back to Susan Lawrence. Um, she's very humble, so she may not say it, but she's an absolute powerhouse in our academy. I've had the pleasure of working with her now. I think it's come up for two years now, isn't it? Two years. It's come up for two years now. And, um, you know, her background in, in business and, and accounting has made her a real force to be reckoned with in our academy. So I just want you to know that you are in exceptional hands with Susan. Massive round of applause for Susan Lawrence. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Absolutely incredible. How's everyone doing today? How was the service? What was the, what was the main message? Wow, he's on it. This guy's on it. I like it. I like his stuff. <laughs> amazing, amazing, amazing. Guys, I want you to know that this presentation is going to be absolutely amazing and it's definitely going to be worth the wait. I know that we hear so many times that, you know, something's going to be life-changing, um, but I want you to know that this is absolutely the real deal. So, guys, please, um, you know, be ready to take in this information. Um, it's going to be enriching, it's going to be impactful, and it's going to be empowering. I've already been warmly introduced. I'm going to dive straight in. My name is Des Ame. I'm the Managing Director of Ame Finance Academy, which is a very large um, finance Academy based in the Canary Wolf Tower of London. We're based on the 37th floor. Let me see if my clicker is working now. So I'll just raise my hand every time. It's been a slow. Um, okay, brilliant. Um, so my background's in finance. Uh, I'm a qualified financial, um, financial broker, uh, mortgage broker, CMAP qualified, uh, qualified financial life coach, a former lecturer of financial studies for the London Institute of Banking and Finance, um, and also a former assistant head teacher. 
And I say all of that just so that you know you are in very, very good hands. When it comes to finance, um, I've been around the block. On this platform that I'm going to be going through um, later, I'm a VIP five-star node, which essentially means that now uh, I'm part of the corporate team and know the, the company inside out. So, as I mentioned, um, I used to be um, a secondary school teacher. And during that time, um, I was living uh, paycheck to paycheck. I was living month to month, um, hand to mouth. It was horrible. Let's get those guys' attention. It was horrible. Um, living paycheck to paycheck, um, for me, <laughs> it meant that I was just working to cover my bills. I was working very hard, but it never really felt like I was winning. Has, has anyone ever lived paycheck to paycheck before? Just raise your hand if you've ever lived paycheck to paycheck. Or maybe you know someone that's ever lived paycheck to paycheck. It's, it's not nice. It's not nice at all. Um, I ended up in debt over 35,000 pounds. And I just became sick and tired. Sick and tired of just being sick and tired. So everything changed for me. Well, actually, before that, just the next slide, please. Um, I don't, has anyone ever received a text message like this before from their bank? I used to get, <laughs> I used to get this definitely uh, two or three times a month, um, the insufficient funds text message. I remember going to department stores, and I'm not sure if anyone's ever done this. I used to go to department stores, and when I gave my card over, I'd say a quick prayer to the Lord, please, let this, tra let this last transaction go through, please. Um, but these, you know, these times there's people behind me. It's going to be embarrassing if it doesn't go through. Um, but everything changed for me. Um, when my daughter was born, um, when she was born, I decided to make a decision. And that decision um, was just to stop living paycheck to paycheck. You see, nothing changes if nothing changes, but everything can change right now. So, um, MA Finance Academy, what do we do? We are wealth creation specialists. We teach people around the world how to become financially free. Um, and how to have multiple sources of income. Everything that we do is based on biblical principles. In Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 2, it states that we should have at least seven or eight sources of income, for we do not know what disasters may come upon the land. In Proverbs, it states very clearly that a wise person leaves an inheritance for their children's children. So that's what we do. And it ranges from um, helping people to get on the property ladder. Um, I'm the author of the... I wrote a book called um, Starting Your Property Side Hustle, the number one in Amazon for a very, very long time. So we teach people how to get on a property ladder and how to grow a property portfolio. We teach people um, how to build income streams from various different entrepreneurial methods. Now, one of the reasons why we're here today is to um, receive good financial uh, management. And we run a course called um, Finance Matters. It's a money management program. It's normally about half a day. It's a half a day course, it's very intense. And in that course, what we cover is good money mindset. We cover um, budgeting, how to budget. We cover uh, credit and how to improve your credit score. That's very popular, that section. We also cover debt and debt management, how to eradicate debt we show our members how to literally eradicate about 80% of, of their debt. You see, when it comes to finance, we only know what we know and we don't know what we don't know. You know, being in the finance industry for a long time, there are, there are many things that people don't understand about finances that can really, really transform um, someone's situation. So we end the course with how to save money when we go through the budgeting section, we look at how to save money, how to cut costs, and then how to bring in more income. Because often, the best way to solve money situations is to bring more income into the house. So what we've done, Susan and I, um, to save time, is we've put together a pack that we're going to be um, sending out via uh, Sister Enid. Um, and it's going to be very informative. It's going to help with credit score. We've, we've taken people from a very low credit score to a very high credit score in a very short space of time. We've got people on the property ladder. We've got people who now have put things in place to ensure that their families' finances are sorted for the next six, seven generations. So also, what we're gonna be offering every single member of the church is a free financial review. Now, we normally charge uh, 599 for the financial review, but every single member, thanks to um, Sister Enid, 
um, will qualify for a free financial review. Um, I'm going to be giving details at the end of this on how you can qualify for that. It's a one-hour consultation where we will go through your finances and look at ways in which to save money and how to bring more, more money into the household as well. Um, could we just give a massive clap to Sister Enid for negotiating that for us? You know, she's a tough negotiator, but she managed to, to get that done. So, um, the big decision um, that I made um, wasn't anything drastic. The first thing that I did after my daughter was born was to read a book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Just a show of hands if you've read that book before. Um, or if, you, if you've heard of the book, just raise your hands. Okay, brilliant. Um, the book is powerful. If you haven't read it, I, I fully recommend that you do. After the Bible, no book has impacted me as much as this one. Following this book, I went on to read um, books like Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, The Richest Man in Babylon. And I started to study key significant people like King Solomon. You know, when it comes to finances, there's no better example than King Solomon himself. And what I realized was there were five financial keys to this thing that we call financial independence, financial freedom. As I walked in, I could hear Susan um, speaking to you about different financial goals. Having financial goals is so important. You see, the main reason why most people don't achieve their financial goals is because they're not very clear about the things that they want. So I really want you to be, to be clear, to really know what your financial goals are. Often people will say financial freedom, but what does financial freedom mean to you? What does it look like? Over the next two years, how much money would you like to be making every single month? See, right now, I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm actually on tour right now. So um, we were in Manchester on Saturday. From there, Leicester, we did a big event in Manchester, big event in Leicester. I'm here right now. Then we're off to Newcastle. Then from Newcastle, I don't even know what's next on, on the agenda. But we are traveling the UK right now. And one of the key messages is for people to be very clear about the things that they want. You see, we have thousands of members in our academy. Their testimonies will blow you. The testimonies over the last few days in Manchester and Leicester have been mind-blowing. People that are now genuine six- and seven-figure income earners from our platform. And, and, I, and I did say that correctly. Six- and seven-figure income earners from our platform. People have been able to use our um, tools to become completely financially independent. And that's not me, you know, um, exaggerating whatsoever. So there are five financial keys to this thing that we call financial independence. Um, the first one is um, residual passive income. Residual passive income. You see, residual income is the ability to make money without constantly working for it. Passive income is where we're making money and we're not doing anything at all. Now, that can be quite hard to digest because we're taught to work hard for money. But this is what the, um, the wealthy and the rich have been doing for years. My recommendation to everybody is to have at least one source of passive income. In other words, um, Warren Buffett summarized it perfectly. Warren Buffett said, if we don't find ways to make money whilst we're sleeping, we will continue to work for money until the very day that we die. So everyone should have a, at least one source of income that's coming in and we're not working for it. It sounds funny, right? <laughs> the good news is, part of my presentation today, I'm going to be showing you how Sister Enid, Sister Susan are doing just that. Making money every single day and not working for it. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, this sounds too good to be true. I, I get it. I understand. I've been, I was exactly in that situation when I first found this information. But remember, we don't know what we don't know. So residual passive income. The second one is compound interest. Now, compound interest is the ability to turn a small amount of money into a large amount of money in a very short time frame. Einstein, Albert Einstein said it's the eighth wonder of the world. Those people who understand it, they really, really earn it. Those people that don't, like me, when I was, uh, when I was broke, I used to pay the minimum balance on my credit card. I didn't understand. That was compound interest working against me. Um, so what we're going to be showing you today is a, um, a compound effect. A compound effect. Um, freeze leverage. Leverage is my favorite word in the English dictionary. It's where we can make something bigger. 
we can leverage um, we can leverage reputation. We can re leverage businesses. We can leverage people. J.D. Rockefeller famously said, I would rather earn 1% on 100 people's time than 100% of my own time. And number um, uh, four and five, uh, four is um, to make money from money. To make money from money as opposed to exchanging our time for money. You see, 95% of the population exchange their time for money. And that's okay, I'm not, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Of course, that's necessary in order for society to exist in the way it does, of course. However, there's a problem. If we're trying to become wealthy, and when I talk about wealth, I talk about it in the context of having money so that we can do more things for the kingdom. Having money so that we can secure things for our family. Um, if we're trying to become wealthy, there's a big problem if we're relying on exchanging time for money. And that problem is that there's only 24 hours in the day. So there's only so much time that you can exchange. The best way to become wealthy is to exchange, is to make money from money. And the last one, as you can see, is to have multiple sources of income. Like it says in Ecclesiastes chapter 11, have multiple. You see, too many of us rely on one source of income. When I look back at when I was, you know, that the broke school teacher, I only had one source of income. There was so much pressure on that one source. I had multiple bills, but only one income source. So one of the first things that I did was start to bring in other income sources whilst I was a school teacher. And the best type of income sources are passive income. So, um, Um, so, um, so now I'm an international speaker. I speak around the world, um, speaking on these topics, speaking on how to become financially free. I'm so blessed, happy, and grateful that we have thousands of members in our academy, and you know the transformation is enormous. Financial independence. What does it mean to you? Having more money doesn't necessarily automatically bring happiness, but what it does do is it allows you to make choices, choices that we can't make without that money. So just my very quick testimony, the platform that I'm gonna quickly share with you today has allowed me personally to get my time back. Um, I prefer my time freedom over my money freedom. I've been able to retire my mum. I'm from Ghana, uh, West Africa, where I was born. And um, you know, I've been able to retire my mum, send her back to Ghana, finish her house, and ensure that she has passive income coming in. Um, what I'm gonna show you today is allowing me to pay for my children's school fees. Um, and travel. I love traveling. Does anyone love traveling here, by the way? Anyone love traveling? I want you to know this platform can facilitate that. Many of our members now are traveling around the world using the rewards that they're receiving from this, um, from this opportunity. So it's very, very, very powerful. And we're building schools um, in Ghana right now. We're building schools in Ghana. Um, but that's going to be extended to other parts of um, Africa and Eastern Europe and, and places like that. Um, Impact, impact over income, people before profits, and the mission before the commission. So what I'm going to show you now is um, an opportunity where you can enjoy every single one of these things. Passive, in passive income, making money whilst you're sleeping. Sounds crazy. What is this guy talking about? How is it possible? We're used to grinding so much that if somebody says we're making money without doing anything, it can't be true. A compound effect, it's not compound interest, it's a compound effect. I'm looking at Susan when I say that because she always keeps me in line as our internal compliance officer. <laughs> um, we be, be able to leverage, make money for money and have another one, two, three or even five sources of income. So guys, I'm going to dive straight in. So I want to introduce you to um, the, the Hyper Fund, the Hyper Fund. The Hyper Fund, it's all one word. The Hyper Fund is a membership rewards program that will pay you every single day. And the reason why I want to introduce this to you is because when it comes to money management, the stuff that you're going to receive in the pack is amazing. It's going to help improve your credit. It's going to reduce your debt. It's going to 
help you to budget. That's great. But ultimate, ultimately, when it comes to money management, we just need to bring in some more. We need to bring in some more. We need to do all of that groundwork. It's very important. But once we're bringing in more income, that's a good start. Yes, yes or yes? Brilliant. Um, so it's a membership rewards program that pays you every single day. Have you been paid every day? Has, has there been a day you haven't been paid? Does it work like clockwork? Does it do exactly what it says on the tin? <laughs> this works. It absolutely works. So what, what, what I really want to do today is not get you to understand how you can make money every day, but I really want you to feel comfortable and confident and know that you are in very, very good hands. That's my main objective. So good news is that the Hyper Fund is free to join. There's no startup costs. There's no monthly fees. There's no subscription costs. This gets better and better, right? There's no monthly fees. This guy at the front is killing me because it's just like, everything I say is like, this, it can't be true. <laughs> Guys, I understand. The first time I saw this information, I almost walked out of the room. I said, it can't be true. How? It doesn't make sense. So, some more good news is that the Hypertech, so the Hyperfund is run by a company called the Hypertech Group. You can go ahead and write that down. They are huge. When you're a huge company, you're public. <laughs> you can run, but you can't hide. You're researchable. People can dig away. What have they been up to? What have you done? How much money did you make last year? This is not, a, we're not dealing with a small company. They're huge. How huge? Let me show you how huge they are. Mo uh, over $10 billion in market valuation. If we have time, I'd love to do an exercise to show you how much money they've just made today. Live, from an independent. How much money they've made just today in the last 24 hours. Huge. Absolutely incredible. So, some of the companies that you'll see there, you might recognize, like Binance was there, um, BW. Some huge, huge companies. Again, I want you to know that everything I'm going to say today can be completely verified. So don't just take my word for it. <laughs> I'm going to give you a due diligence pack so you can do your own research. There's no pressure here today. I'm not going to be here saying, guys, sign up today. You can if you want. But I know how this works. When you do your due diligence, you're going to feel happy and excited to get started. Been here Several, several times. Like I said, we're, we're on tour right now. So, why the Hypertech Group? Um, they have a blue chip track record, um, which means that they've launched many companies on different stock exchanges around the world. They have um, a world-class reputation with governments and universities. So part of your research, you will see that the owners are working with prime ministers and presidents around the world because they are special advisors in a particular area that I'll share with you in a minute. These are completely researchable guys, and they work with universities as well um, on the topic of blockchain. It's, it's blockchain. Um, huge resources, financial and know-how, technology and products that will blow you away, and an ecosystem and infrastructure that's truly, truly amazing. So people are genuinely, genuinely using this to meet their financial goals. And that's why Susan opened up with that question. What was, what was the exact question that you asked them? Have you got financial plans? One of the first things that I do with my, with my um, clients, I say to them, what is it exactly you want to achieve with Hyperfund? Do you want to clear your debts? Do you want to pay the mortgage off early? Do you want to, um, do you want to make an extra $500 a day? What is your plan? Because once you have a plan, guess what? We can give you the blueprint. Let me explain why. It's because Hyperfund works like clockwork. It's TikTok. TikTok. It's not one of those finger in the air jobs where we have to cross our fingers and toes and hope that everything goes in our direction. I've been there. This is clockwork. So you can plan ahead confidently. People are, when you hear the testimonies, so I don't know if you know Sandra, Sandra gave a testimony um, on Saturday, you know, started a few months ago, now she's earning six figures from this thing. Many people have stopped working now. Not that I'm encouraging that. Those were one week, we re retired four nurses in one week. 
And then I said, no more, no more, no more. I'm not retiring any more nurses. Otherwise, who's going to look after the sick? It doesn't make sense. Okay? So, whatever your financial goals are, I want you to know the hyperfund can help you achieve them. And I say that confidently with my chest. So, let me get down to business. How does it work? So, with the hyperfund, you will experience three times the leverage in layman's terms, in layman's terms, you will be able to triple the value of your membership. We're talking about tripling. Tripling your value and you can triple the value of your profits as well. Don't worry, I'm going to unpick this so that it makes perfect sense. I just want to make sure I get the terminology correct. So, um, no work is needed. It's completely passive. To get started, because obviously you can't triple zero, you can sign up for free. But to get started, you obviously have to deposit some funds. And the minimum you can get started with is $300, which I believe is reasonable, probably about £220 to get started. There's no maximum. And what will happen is whatever you start with, it will triple. The value of that package will triple. So the 300 will be 900 And then that 900 will be paid out to you every day in small increments. That increment is 0.5% of the original package value up to 1% of the original package value. But for the rest of this presentation, I'm just going to focus on 0.5% because that's the minimum. Therefore, that's the minimum expectation. 0.5%. If we get anything above that, then it's a bonus. So that happens every single day, including weekends. You got paid today, Susan? I asked that question knowing that it's clockwork. It works. It does exactly what it says on the tin. So that's 15% a month that we're making in rewards. 180% a year. Is anybody receiving more than that from their bank? If so, I'll join right now. I'll join that bank right now. Okay, of course, it's a um, rhetorical question. Amazing. So I want you to know that three times leverage is a promotion right now. But once you come in at at three times leverage, you are locked in. You now have your three times leverage for the remainder of that contract. So that's brilliant. Okay, so definitely you want to get in whilst it's three times leverage. So what I'm going to do now is just spend a couple of minutes unpicking this so that we really understand it. And then we can start to wrap this up. So once you're in the platform, we use an internal measurement called HU, hyper unit. And I want you to know that one hyper unit is the equivalent of one dollar. It's one for one. So, I did a withdrawal this morning. I can show you that um, at the end. So, if I do a, if I do a, um, a $6,000 withdrawal, what 6,000 HU, I expect 6,000 the other end. It's lack for lack. This is not, oh, it could go up if this happens or if this, if, um, if um, Elon Musk says this, then, no, 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 it's lack for lack. 6,000 here, 6,000 out, it's in my bank account. One for, so if you hear me say HU, I mean dollars. And if I say dollars, HU, same thing. So let's say you start with $1,000. That, that will triple immediately to 3000 So now you have 3000 HU or $3,000 in your um, pending rewards. It's pending. It's tripled and now it's pending. What you can't do is go and grab that 300 and run for the hills. That wouldn't be a good business model. It would collapse. So what they do is they release that money to you slowly. So every day, 0.5% of the original package value. So in this example, $5. $5 will leave your pending rewards and it will go into your account balance. So every day your pending rewards will go down. Don't panic. Some people panic. They say, oh, it's going down. What's happening? No, it's meant to go down because it's paying you into your account balance. So you can see that $5 has left there and it's gone into the account balance. Now, after 10 days, your pending rewards now shows $2,950. Where has $50 gone? It's gone into the account balance. It's gone into the account balance. So, 50 is an important number. $50 or 50 HU is the minimum that you need before you can take action. That's very important. So what are the actions? Action number one is you can just let the money stack up. Action two, you can withdraw the money so it ends up in your bank account. 
So if you've got direct debits, it takes care, takes care of that. Option three is we have our own card, our own visa card. It's called a hypercard. It has a visa logo. You can use it anywhere where you see the visa sign. So there are some people, they don't want the money to go into their bank for whatever reason. I, I'm not allowed to give tax advice. I don't know whether it's tax related. I don't know. I just know they love using their, um, their visa card. So you could do that. Um, now, number four is very special and it gets people very excited. The fourth option that you have is the option, but not the obligation, to perform what we call a rebuy. Now, a rebuy is where you take any money you have in your account balance and in multiples of 50, you can buy another membership. So, here in this example, we've got $50 in the account balance. If I decide to do a rebuy, I can purchase a membership for 50. They will give me three times leverage again. So now, 150 goes back into my pending rewards. So, so now, after my first rebuy, I now have 3,100 in my pending rewards. And then the next day, I'm not going to get $5. I'm going to get $5.25. So it's given us a compound effect. It's not compound interest. We're not, we're not allowed to use those terms. It's a compound effect. My money's growing at a fast rate because of that rebound. Absolutely incredible. Does this, does this make sense? Yeah? Perfect. Okay. So the hypercard, you can use it in anywhere. Anywhere you see the visa, visa logo, you can use it. Um, some people call me, they say, Des, I'm, I'm traveling to this country. Can I use it there? The answer is as long as you can use Visa, you can use it there. Um, there's only one downside of the card, which I must inform you, and that's it has a, um, a spending limit of $50,000 a day. Is anybody planning on spending more than $50,000 a day? 50, five zero, $50,000 a day. It says well in that. Just on blazers alone. <laughs> Brilliant question. I'm going to take questions at the end, so p please hold on to that question because it's a great one. I don't want to de I'll definitely answer that one. Um, so, um, amazing. So let's just. Uh, so one of our members bought a car. I don't really play that video, but for time, I'm not going to play that video. He bought a car with his hypercard. Okay. So let's look at this rebuy situation very quickly because this is how people are achieving big goals. So with the rebuys, if you consistently rebuy which you have the option but not the obligation to. You can just be withdrawing, no problem. It depends on your objective. So, after one month of rebuying, oh, by the way, we're still talking about $1,000, $1,000. After one month of rebuying, you now have $3,292 or HU in your pending rewards. Amazing. After six months of rebuying, you have just under $6,000 in your account. Six months of rebuying, $1,000. Our members have been enjoying, been enjoying. Um, after 12 months, you now have just under 13000 in your pending rewards, which is nice. After two years of rebuying, just under 75000 And after three years of rebuying, just under half a million dollars. Truly incredible. Um, and that's why our members are getting so excited because now for the first time, they can achieve their financial goals with a very clear plan. So there are four types of people that join us. I want you to have a sense of which one you think you're going to be. You've got the people who just want to triple. They, they just want to be in and they want to be out. These are people who are, they've got a project. Maybe they're building on land in Nigeria and it, look, I just want to be in and out. So for those people who just want to be in and out, let me give you the time scale so you understand. It will take 6.6 .6 months in order to get your original package value back. If you start with 10K and you do nothing, you're just passive, you're not rebuying, then after 6.6 .6 months or 200 days, you now have that value back in your bank account. You don't have to wait 6.6 .6 months. You could be withdrawing it in, in, you know, as, as it's coming in but after 6.6 .6 months, 600 days. After another 6.6 .6 months, you've doubled. And after a final 6.6 .6 months or 600 days, you have tripled the value of your membership. 
some people, some of the big hitters that come in, um, people that come in with large sums, they, they like to put that in, take out their initial after 6.6 .6 months, and then, you know, they have that peace of mind of knowing, okay, well, I've got my initial back. Let's go. Let's start compounding. There's different ways in which you can do that. So the first ones are the triplets. They're in and out. Then we have the, um, the ones that like the compound effect, the compound effect. So they're doing rebuys consistently, growing their money. Um, so that 1K into 13K, 10K into 130K, 80K into 1 million in one year, all in one year. So you've got those guys. Then you've got the lifestylers, the cash flow people. People that just want cash flow. Maybe they want to be retired. They're tired of working. They just want to facilitate their lifestyle. No problem. So let me give you a quick example. If somebody got started with 30,000, 15% a month, they're making 4,500. If they kept enjoying 4,500, then after 600 days, that will be the end of the plan or 90 months. So what they do is they rebuy one third. So 1,500, they will put as a rebuy. That leaves them with 3,000 a month for enjoyment, whatever they want to do. So these are people that want to use this to facilitate their lifestyle. Then you have the mix and the matches, people that want to do the best of both worlds. So, most, so a lot of people, what they do is they rebuy for, let's say, three months, and then they'll spend one month enjoying, withdrawing. There's different ways in which you can do it. So as we wrap up, the biggest question that I get asked is, well, how much should I start with? That's a personal choice, but my message is this. Come in strong, but sleep like a baby. Come in strong because it's powerful, but you don't want to come in too strong that now you're tossing and turning at night, wondering, what did I do? Have I done the right thing? Okay, so come in strong but sleep like a baby. The reason why I say come in strong is for something called exponential growth. Exponential growth is where you are growing at the fastest rate possible. So in order to do that, you need to be rebuying at every given opportunity. So the magic number is $10,000. If you can afford it, and if you can sleep like a baby, $10,000 is the magic number because it allows you to rebuy every day from the beginning. When you're rebuying every day, you have exponential growth because you're rebuying, then your daily rewards goes up, then you're rebuying and you have this going on and you're growing very fast. If you can't come in at 10K, then just come in at a number that represents coming in strong for you. And if that number is $300, then that's fine. You can start with $300 and top up at any time. No problem at all. There's absolutely no pressure. $300 will take 34 days to do a rebuy. So just bear that in mind. $1,000, 10 days to a rebuy. That's a week and three days. Not so bad. So just bear these things in mind when you're making your decision. Um, so, just very quickly. I want you to know that everything that you're thinking and feeling right now, I've been there. So, me getting involved in the Hyper Fund was a very easy decision because the person that invited me to it, credibility, no problem. But when I decided to launch this with my academy, thousands of members around the world, I really wanted to ensure that this was the real deal. So I needed to understand the business model and I had certain questions. How sustainable is this? That was my biggest question. Is this sustainable? Is this here today and then gone tomorrow? Who, who's been involved in something that hasn't gone Hasn't quite gone well. Hasn't quite gone. Well. It's, it's a safe space. <laughs> it's a safe space. I'm, I feel like calling a few names, but it's probably still fresh. <laughs> Guys, I don't want, don't let that be the thing that puts you off, um, you know, taking advantage of opportunities. You know, being scarred, being burned is, is part of the process. You know, you speak to any successful entrepreneur, you know, they will tell you about, you know, things that have unfortunately haven't gone well for them. The perfect analogy is, you know, if somebody went to a hospital and, you know, unfortunately somebody died, you wouldn't stop using hospitals. You know, the system still works. It's just that that one didn't quite work out. So I want you to just take your emotions out of that particular situation. But what I believe that you will feel after this presentation is that this is different. Mainly because of the company and the owners that are behind us. So, is this a Ponzi scheme? Is it a pyramid scheme? These are all things that were going through my mind. How are the company making its money? 
can they afford to keep paying us 0.5% a day? Well, is it, was anybody thinking any of these questions? This res- okay, brilliant. Amazing. Okay, good. Because, you know, I felt exactly the same way. So what I want to do is just show you exactly how the company is making its money so that you really understand that we're in good hands. And then we'll, I'm going to tell you about the owners and then we're going to wrap it up. So um, this company worked very similar to your bank. When you put your money in the bank, your money's not sitting there waiting for you to come back. As you know, the bank are putting it to work. They are, you know, doing investments, they're trading, they're giving people mortgages. They're, banks on average make about 15% a day. And what do they give us? It's, <laughs> let's, not, let's not even go there. So this company performed asset management or hedge funding on a very serious level. Very, very, very serious level. So what are they investing in? I want you to know that this company invests in about eight different industries. They don't put all their eggs in one basket. They really spread it across. So they invest in in fintech, financial technologies. They're investing in blockchain. Blockchain is huge right now. Not just in cryptocurrency. They're using blockchain in banking, in education, in healthcare. Blockchain is just a way to make things more secure and verifiable. Um, They are angel investors. They invest in startup companies that they believe are going to blow. They do venture cap- they're venture capitalists. So they're looking at companies that are about to explode. In the industry of cryptocurrency, they are whales. They're huge because of their size. And when you're that big in cryptocurrency and blockchain, you can move the market. That makes them market makers. They have some of the biggest crypto mining farms in the world. Don't take my word for it. It's something you can look at in the due diligence pack. Some of the biggest in the world. But also, they own some of the biggest exchanges in the world. Some of the biggest exchanges in the world. Um, so let's do a quick exercise. Has anyone got, has anyone got their phone? Looking can just quickly go to a website for me. Okay, go to CoinMarketCap for me. CoinMarketCap. So CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko or any of these websites. These are independent websites um, that monitor the crypto and blockchain industry. So you can do this at any of those sites. I'm just using CoinMarketCap. You can use CoinGecko. Um, so you're there right now? So go to search at the top right and then type in HOO. Hue is just one of the exchanges that Hypertech own. They own four outright and they own a part share in many like Binance. So Hue.com, which is part which they own outright, so we're just going to go all the way down. Okay, it's Hugh Exchange. Click on the Hugh Exchange. So bear in mind, this is a Sunday where things, it's the quietest day of the week. I've not actually been on, I've not even actually been on this today. I've actually not been on today. So what I'm going to ask this gentleman is in the last 24 hours, remember this is one exchange of four of multiple income streams that this company generate. But in the last 24 hours, how much have Hugh.com um, generated in volume? Okay, so 848 million dot, yeah, dollars, um, just, just shy of a billion. When we do this during a week, it's normally 3.8 billion, 4 billion, I've seen it as high as 6 billion. But for a Sunday, almost a billion in volume. Even if they just charge one cent per transaction, which they don't, but even if they just charge one cent per transaction, we're talking about millions and millions of dollars just today. So they have income streams coming that you can verify for yourself. And we're able to leverage this company in order to make money. It's truly powerful. And on top of that, in the service agreement, when you sign up, you will see that this company have put 100 million into an, almost kind of like an insurance policy to cover, um, the whole, um, the, to cover the whole scheme. It's truly amazing. So... I'm just going to end with the vision and then the owners. The vision of this company is to build the biggest community in the world. You see, a lot of people say, if this company is making so much money, why do they need us? Somebody said at the weekend, why do they need my little $300? <laughs> right? So what we need to understand is that this company actually have an ecosystem that I'll show you on the next slide. 
and the ecosystem has many features to it. So they have their own bank, their own financial bank, Hyperbank, which is regulated by the Australian FCA equivalent. They have their own shopping center on online Westfields. They have their own um, hyper mining. So what I'm saying is that they've got this ecosystem of services and they want 30 million customers to go into this ecosystem. So they're using Hyperfund as an incubator to bring in 30 million into that ecosystem. Right now we have 1.5 million customers. Two weeks ago, we just did a billion in sales. One billion in sales, just Hyperfund, forget the exchanges. Hyperfund alone, done a billion in sales. That was just the Western world, by the way. That's, that doesn't include China. So the vision is huge, 30 million, and then we're gonna take this company onto the New York or Hong Kong Stock Exchange. Why should you trust them? They have a seven year proven track record, millions of users, and billions of dollars under management. Some of their projects have yielded up to 19,000% gains. You can see all of those parts of the ecosystem there. 30 million is gonna get fed into that ecosystem. So we're just gonna wrap up right now with the two owners and we're absolutely done. The first owner is Sam Lee. Sam Lee, anyone who is serious about blockchain, would have, they would have heard of Sam Lee. Sam Lee is a multi-billionaire that you can research for yourself. If you're gonna search Sam Lee, then put Sam Lee blockchain, because there's a lot of Sam Lee's, it's a very popular name. Sam Lee, when you search him on YouTube, you're gonna see interviews on CNN, Sky News, BBC. He's in Forbes magazine, he's, he works with the United Nations, he's part of the World Economic Forum. I say all of this so that you know he's a very credible guy, a very, very credible guy. See, when I did my due diligence into Hyperfund, I didn't get the sense that Hyperfund was created to make a couple of people very rich. Sam Lee was a multi-billionaire. The thing that was running through my mind was, okay, well, what if these guys run off of all the money? Right? <laughs> well, you have to think these things, okay? You have to think these things. And I started thinking to myself, how much money does someone need? If they're a multi-billionaire, do they need a few extra million? So I started to look at things on the balance of probability. How, how, how likely was it that someone of Sam Lee's stature, credibility, financial status, would do something like um, what they call like an exit scam or something like that? How likely is that? It seemed very unlikely in my mind. Um, next slide, please. You can see here, uh, Sky News, CNN, you see, you can watch all of these. Next slide. Um, Ryan Shu, another multi-billionaire. Again, you can research him. He's done so many things. I won't you know, bore you with all of that now. You can look into that for yourself. We're gonna give you a due diligence pack. Um, he's the co-founder, sorry, he's the founder of Colin Star Capital, one of the world's largest blockchain venture capital firms. You can see them both here being interviewed by Microsoft. And here you can see Ryan Shu with the president, former president of the United States. He was a special advisor on blockchain. He advises the states on blockchain. There's an interview in the due diligence pack where he talks about how China almost turned against him because they thought he was, um, he was a, he thought they were, he was a spy. You seen, you seen the interview? They thought he was a spy. He's, he's quite funny, but yeah. So now you can see Sam Lee with the president of Switzerland because they built blockchain centers, physical centers that you can go to Switzerland and touch and feel, and they built blockchain centers in Switzerland for the president. Not just in Switzerland, they've done that around the world. Physical blockchain centers where they can start blockchain projects in those countries and give advice on blockchain. Um, and on this slide here, you can see Sam Lee with different presidents and prime ministers around the world. Imran Khan, bottom right, is the um, prime minister of Pakistan. Again, blockchain advisor, physically building blockchain centers in those countries. It's truly, truly remarkable. Don't worry if you can't read that. I'm gonna give you a due diligence pack so you can see all of that. Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime did a documentary on both of these guys. A big documentary um, where they really talk about um, what they've done in blockchain. Without boring you to death, there was a time when blockchain and crypto was about to drop off the face of the planet. It became un... It wasn't economical to mine Bitcoin anymore. And there was a handful of enthusiasts that stayed in the game, kept mining Bitcoin when it was not worth it, and a lot of people 
herald people like Ryan Chu for saving the cryptocurrency industry. So that's why they like doing interviews with him a lot. Um, so you can watch that in the due diligence pack or on Amazon in every country. In the UK, it recently finished on Amazon, but it's due to go back on, but you can watch it offline. So um, I want to give you the due diligence pack. It's, uh, if you write down, if, if you go, you have to go a few, a few, keep going. Okay, that's it, that's it. All right. Yeah, brilliant. So, amefinance.com forward slash diligence. Amefinance.com forward slash diligence. Diligence is um, the due diligence pack. It's very interactive. It's an interactive PDF. Everything is on there. You can verify the finances, the, 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 um, the owners, everything's there. It's very interactive. On that landing page, there's also an interview with our compliance officer discussing how we're working with the FTC in the United States to stay compliant. It's a very, very good landing page. Um, and, this, and this is it here. You can watch everything. You can review everything. It's very, very good. So that is the Hyperfund in a nutshell. Um, there are ways in which you can get your money way quicker, faster. There are ways in which you can take this to a whole new level, a whole new level. Um, for me personally, um, it's changed my whole life completely. You know, multiple seven figures from just taking it seriously. If you do decide to go into um, hyperdrive and, and take it to a whole new level, I want you to know that we provide mentorship and support. Um, and it, it, it's completely, completely life-changing. But rather than hearing from me, I want us to hear from a very special lady, someone who came on one of my Zoom calls recently and just set it ablaze. Everybody was just left blown away. Um, so I'm going to invite Sister Ine to come and maybe share a very quick testimony. Wow. Did she always look this lovely? <laughs> Thank you. I wasn't expecting that. But... Um as Des kindly said, I didn't realize I set it alight, but um, this is a Zoom call. I just came on and, and just told it as I saw it and what was happening for me. Um, I was introduced to Hyperfund um, by Susan. She was in London. I thought, oh, I'll come see you. She says, okay. So while I'm there, she's telling me about this new thing that's happening. So I'm sitting there, and I'm not very financially savvy, but um, she's telling me about this, and I'm thinking, hmm. I said, nah, it's just a load of rubbish. <laughs> it's lies. She says, no, seriously, look at this, look at it. So she sat there and she showed, she walked me through all these things that Des was talking about. And it made sense to me. And I thought, hmm, well, if Susan likes it, it can't be that bad because she does due diligence, so she should know. So I'm thinking, okay, all right, what I'll do, I'll put some money in, but I won't put too much in. Just in case I lose it, then I won't, it won't matter. Uh, at least I tried it. So I did. I put some money in. And as soon as the money landed on that account, it was tripled. I thought, oh, it's true. It's tripled. Mm, all right. So a week later, when I did another rebuy, I thought, goodness me. I don't even get that amount of money from my bank. And I got my savings account there. So I thought, right, so put some more money in. So before the end of the month, I doubled what I put in. And by the end of two months, I was calling in my loans from other people. I said, look, this money you owe me, I really, really need it. Please let me have it back now. And some of them complied and gave me back my money. And it all went into Hyperfund. And I'm telling you, whatever I have extra is going into Hyperfund because I can see where it's going. I've set my son up, set my husband up, set my brother up, set my two sisters up, everybody, um, and some friends. And I'm just making sure that everybody knows about it. Because I think it's important for us to know what is out there, what we could get involved in as, I say, black people, because a lot of us don't really know. We really don't know. And a lot of the information is hidden from us. So if we bother to read 
do seminars and this kind of thing, you find out. And that's what's been going on. I've been on some kind of, my learning curve's just, whew, just gone up. Um, and I just think it's worth looking into. It really is worth looking into. I'm not saying you have to do it. You don't have to do anything. But it's worth looking into, and I think it's worth following up if you can. You know, don't let an opportunity pass you by. I was told about Bitcoin, like Susan. I thought, nah. But my son bought part of a Bitcoin. He's got some money. There you go. So don't lose out on this. This blockchain is the next big deal. It's the next big thing. And I think we need to position ourselves so that we're ready. Because the change is coming. So if you want to be part of that change, get on board. Thank you. For somebody that wasn't expecting to give a testimony, that was absolutely amazing. Um, so next up, I'm going to invite Susan back to give, give her testimony. Um, and then we'll take some questions and then we'll call it a day. Amazing. Let's give her a nice warm hand. Thank you, Des. Yeah, hi, guys. Right. Let me just get straight into this. So I was told about this by my mentor. And no disrespect to him at all. As the qualified accountant and the work that I do, I do a lot of due diligence for the government. I've worked for organizations like RIC and RICS, which obviously what I do, I go to companies and I talk to the directors and I go through their books, okay? And I look at the financial statements, I look at external factors. So when it comes to different things like this, no brainer for me, I do my due diligence. So he's told me it's great and I said, that's great but I've got to do my own. So for two weeks, two weeks straight, I was digging in everything and looking at everything. And um, I know that there was had about five people who were very close to me who know and, and they needed financial freedom. So this was very important to me, very, very important. So um, I went to the bank a year before that and I was trying to see what I could do to make my finances, make my money work better for me. At the end of the year, I couldn't believe this, six, six pound, I didn't have a small, a good amount, and it was six pound I received. I said, are you serious? You have me sitting there with you, spend my money to go into town, parking, sit down with you with the meeting, and I've got six pound at the end of the year. Pathetic, really pathetic. But you can imagine, I get a lot of people that comes to me and tell me about different things over the years, and I reject, 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 because I look into it. That's the reason why I'm standing here today with you guys as an accountant, qualified, um, I'm regulated, and I need to make sure I'm doing the right thing, okay, in my finances as well as talking to people about this. So it's very serious for me. I care about my people. I call them my people because you are my people. I'm a child of God, and I always want to make sure that what I'm doing, I do it well, and I dig into it. So I had five people who I call them my fantastic five. And we came into this with our eyes wide open. And I can tell you now that from one month to the other, I actually had a, it's like a salary increase in a way, a thousand pound more than that what I had the previous month. And that just stopped, that blew me away thinking this really is doing very well. So when I came in, I checked, right, so as Eden said, it tripled immediately, so I could see it in my account. And then eventually I was getting rebuys every single day, every single day. So that was all tick box for me as well. And then I, I could withdraw the money back into my bank. So that, that's tick box as well. So guys, this is a fantastic, fantastic thing to, to be a part of. So we just want to thank you very much for allowing us to be in your space. And now we've got questions. If you've got questions at all, ask away. Amazing, amazing testimony. Um, she did give me a hard time, a very, very, very hard time, but I expect nothing less. Um, like I said at the beginning, if you're part of the organization, I want you to know that you are in very, very good hands. She's one of the top leaders in AME Finance Academy. So guys, um, over to you guys, there's no question that's off limits. Um, as I mentioned, I'm, I'm a, a VIP five star on the platform, so I've, I've gone right through um, to the top of the compensation plan, but I'm also a node which um, is a strange title, but it, I'm part of a small group of people that help to govern 
um, Hyper Fund and I work very closely with the corporate team as well. So please, um, the only question, the only silly question is the one that's not asked. So far away, but go easy. <laughs> no. Yes. Yeah, I was asking if there was a fee when you take the money out of your account into your bank account. Yes. Um, so, Hyperfund, do not charge anything to withdraw. Um, so, what will happen? Let me take you through the process. So, when you are um, releasing the money from Hyperfund, you're going to use um, a, a cryptocurrency network. If anyone knows anything about cryptocurrency, if you are sending money using a network, then you have to pay what's known as a gas fee. So that's outside of Hyperfund's control. Um, it will depend on the network. So when it's coming out of Hyperfund, you will be using the Ethereum network. Right now, I believe it's about, um, I think it's about $10 or so, regardless of the amount. So if you're doing a 5K withdrawal, it will be $10. If you're doing a $50 withdrawal, it will be $10. Um, so yeah, that... That kind of goes up and down, but it's normally roughly around that. It's called a gas fee. It's just an independent thing. Then from your exchange, when you're sending it to your bank account to, or to your wallet slash bank account, um, I use the Tron network because the Tron network at the moment only charges $1 for that, which is great. Um, or, of course, you can use the Ethereum network again. But these are all very m minor fees that are outside of hyper, hyper funds control. They are genuine gas fees. You don't really feel. The only people that really feel it, because what you get, um, so I'm, I'm just talking to you candidly now, I'm not talking to you as a presenter, but you get some people that come on board and they say, well, I need to see that this money's real. So as soon as they get their first $50, they will do a withdrawal, right? Because oh, I want to see that this is real. I, I get it, I understand that. But of course, if you're doing a $50 um, dollar withdrawal and you've had to pay you know, $8 here and another couple of dollars here, it can seem like a lot, <laughs> right? But it's the same fee, it's fixed. It's not a percentage. So I just want to give you a heads up on that. Really good question. Thank you. Any, uh, let's let the gentleman then I'll come back to you. My understanding is that the minimum uh, money we can put in is what, $300 or pounds or not? So and if I put in just $300 or pounds and it stays there, um, how long can, it, can, can my money stay there? Because if I put the money in, maybe I want to get my 300 or pounds or uh, dollars back and then the rest that stays there can stay there. So. Thank you for that question, and you also prompted me for something as well. So, um, yes, $300 is the minimum that you can get started with. Um, when you fund your account, remember it's free to register. I, I'd recommend registering today before you leave, just so you're, you're registered in your, your setup. Um, and to do that, um, Sister Enid will give you a link or an invitation code, and you can get that done. Now, to get started, you need to fund your account with USDT. Tether. USDT Tether is a cryptocurrency, but it's not um, a typical cryptocurrency that goes up and down. USD Tether is a stable coin. One USDT is, peg, is pegged to the dollar. So it's, it's one USDT is one dollar. It's always the same. So those of you that are crypto savvy, um, you know, just pop along to coinbase.com or Binance, buy $300 worth of um, Tether and send it to your hyper fund. I know some of you are looking at me like I've just said, a, I've just spoken another language. Okay, we do have how-to videos that break it down, what to do. But also, we have a concierge service. So, I've got a bunch of, um, ad, I've got an admin team. Um, so, for people that are not crypto savvy, you literally send a message to the admin team. Hey, I want to get started with $300, $1,000, whatever it is. And then we have, a, we, I mean Finance Academy, we're a private bank as well. So, we have you know, millions in, in USDT, so we can just fund your account for you. So we take the pain out of that. So if you're crypto savvy, great. If you want to learn how-to videos, and if you just want the concierge service to hold your hand and do everything, then they're at hand to do that for you as well. Um, and the other part of your question is, so you've started with $300. It's now triple to 900. If you do nothing, so you're, you're, you're not rebuying. If you do nothing, you're just passive, then... After 600 days, what will happen is you now have minimum, because it could be quicker if we're getting more than 0.5%, but in 600 days, you now have 900 waiting to be withdrawn, and your membership is now over. 
It's over now. You've been tripled. Once, if you don't rebuy, your membership will finish. You get the $900 back, and then that's the end of your relationship with Hyperfund. You've, 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 that's it now. Unless you rebuy. You could do an instant rebuy and go back in the system and uh, help me out. Was that? No, no, just tell free. My bus has just gone off. Two seven? Two seven will now be in your pending rewards. Delayed gratification. Or you can enjoy it. Yeah. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So let's ask you a question. Oh, oh, I'll come. Yeah. I was going to say, so say if someone was to join, is there like a referral incentive? So if I was to um, invite someone else, do I get an incentive? And then do they get an incentive? Yes, is the answer to that. Um, I try not to, when I do presentations, I try not to focus on those side of things. And the reason why is because I don't want anyone to start thinking that they have to do that in order to get their money. I like to keep it pure about the package. Um, so here's the thing. So I did, one thing I didn't talk about was Ponzi schemes. So Ponzi schemes, a Ponzi scheme is a redistribution of money. It's just money being redistributed. So I, I introduced this gentleman. I need to triple his money. And I need uh, these three guys to quickly come in so I can pay him. Now I need a bunch of other guys to quickly come in so I can pay them. We're just redistributing money. And what happens is it can't grow at the rate it needs to, so it collapses. There's no new money coming in. We're just redistributing money. Hopefully I've done a good enough job in demonstrating that this is not a Ponzi scheme and that the money is being generated by the company's investments and the machine that they have. A pyramid scheme is where you come into something and you can only make money if you bring in other people. And people are so sensitive to pyramid schemes, things, everything's a pyramid scheme, that genuine referral schemes like the one you just described, sometimes people say, oh, it must be a pyramid scheme. That's why I don't like talking about it. I, even, I wasn't even going to mention that today until you just brought it up. Um, so yes, pyramid schemes... You have to, if you don't bring in people, you don't make money. Has anyone ever been in a pyramid scheme before? <laughs> Vaguely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so, there's so many different versions of it. You, you have to bring people in. Here you don't. And that's why I just wanted to keep it purely about the membership. However, there is a very generous, what we call compensation plan for um, bringing people in. I don't want it to be the focus for today because I don't want to take away from the product. Um... You know, just to share my very quick just me from, from that side of things, um, the company um, pay me $6,000 a day. Um, there are some heavy hitters on that side. The reason why we're rewarded so generously is because they really want to get to this 30 million. And some people say, when they get to 30 million, what are they going to do then? Well, there'll be another goal, because then they're going to have shareholders that they need to keep happy. So we're getting to 30 million, it's a very generous compensation plan. Um, we've got leaders, you know, that are, you know, making tens, 10, 20, $30,000 a day from that side of things. But I think less about the money that can be made and more about the impact that you can have. So you, you're, you, you generally can impact other people with this as well and be paid. Um, it's, 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 it's an accelerated reward. That's what you get. So when you introduce people, you get your money out quicker at a very fast rate. But what that allows you to do rebuys, big rebuys, and you're, you're creating wealth that way. So it becomes very, very lucrative. Let me just see if I can log into my account right now. In fact, if we, can, can we go back a few, few slides? So as you can see, so this is one of my mentees, someone that I mentor. And so when you log into your account, you will see your um, pending rewards on the top left. That's the tripled amount that's due to us. And then on the just below that, you can see 128. That's the money that's being made from the money that's being made from your money. And then on the right hand side, 
you have the money that you make from your community. So my mentor, so that mentee at that time was making $2,000 a day from, from that side of things. So just verify that. So the com combined daily? So that's, a, so that's a, a passive reward of six thousand, just over six thousand dollars a day, um, and I only really started growing this in January. So I want you to know that there's a very for those people that do want to um, explore those side of things. There's a very clear training and leadership and mentorship that can be provided to really help accelerate those side of things. So that's the platform is very clean and crisp. Um, in the middle there is where you do your your daily revise. Um, I don't have access to my laptop as I could demonstrate a few things. Yes. Oh, I, I forgot this later. I'll, I'll come to you after. Yeah. Is no profit tax-free? Okay, brilliant question. I get this one all the time. He, the gentleman asked, is his profit tax-free? Um, so, my official response to these questions has to be that I, I'm not a, a qualified tax advisor, so I can't give tax advice. I'm just, I'm legally, legally I can't do it. We do have an accountant in the room. The reality of the situation is, when our members go to accountants to get their tax advice, the accountants, they're on Google trying to research this stuff. Blockchain and crypto is so advanced that the average accountant is playing catch up. That's, that's the reality of the situation. So I, I hear conflicting things from, you know, the reality of it is you're going to have money coming into your bank account if you withdraw to your bank account. So in the UK, from my layman's point of view, that would either be income tax or capital gains because you had an asset at one point, you had a crypto at one point that you've liquidated. So you have to speak to your um, accountant. You know, there are many people who are in Hyperfund that regard it as a reward because we're getting a reward. So they say, oh, it's a reward, so it's not money. It's such a minefield. Um, it's because crypto and blockchain is so advanced. I would speak to a qualified accountant, get the right advice and, you know, a lot of this industry relies on people doing the right thing because it's so hard for it's so hard for the go even even people at top level government really don't have clear answers on this and it's because cryptocurrency blockchain is it's it's so new but also it's decentralized it operates outside of governments and financial systems so they don't they don't know what they don't know what what to do or how to class it it relies on people doing the right thing and so forth, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry I can't give a more direct answer, but it's, I would say, you know, sp speak to a, a qualified accountant, tax person, say this is what I'm doing, this is how I'm receiving my money, what do you advise, and that's the, that's the best thing that you, that you can do. Um, but yeah, either income tax or capital gains tax, it, uh, I believe it, it can fall in, in one of those two. Finally. Um, so mine's really basic. Um, I just want to understand you mentioned that, let's say you put $1,000. So you then said you get, that is tripled for that contract. So the operation wide was that contract. Does that mean when I rebuy, it's another contract? Yeah, great question. Um, absolutely. So every rebuy is its own individual contract. It all goes into the same pending reward. So you don't even notice it. You don't even notice it as like an individual contract, but technically speaking, it would be. So right now, we're enjoying three times leverage. So when you come on board, if you come on board strong, that's three times leverage for the remainder of that contract. And when you do your rebuy, right now, you're gonna get three times leverage. If for any reason, which I don't anticipate, I, I'm, I'm speaking to corporate every single day, I don't have the sense that this is gonna happen anytime soon, but if for any reason, they decide to go back to two times leverage, when I came on board, I only got 2.5 leverage. I didn't get free leverage. And before me, they only got two leverage. And back then it was a big thing. Oh, you can double? That was big. Um, but right now we're, we're heading towards this goal of 30 million users. We're enjoying tr um, three times leverage. There's no sign of it going anywhere. If they were to say, we're not gonna get three times leverage anymore, not only would there be a, a date, so they'll say on this date it's ending. Would, they wouldn't just pull the rug and say, but not only you're locked in, with what you've got already. Future rebuys after that point would be on the new leverage, of course, 
Um, but like I said, I don't, there's nothing on the horizon for that at all. It's, everything is just towards the 30 million, um, three times leverage. So that's how that works, yeah. Great question. Yes. Ridiculous question, actually. Um, they say money make money, right? But if you haven't got no money, how can you get into this? Fantastic, yeah, really, really good question. Um, so yeah, and I've and I've been there, right? I've been there where three hundred dollars would be a big deal for me, right? Um, so there's a few things that um, that I say. So if I if I if yeah, yeah, no, of course. There was, I was in, a, I was in, a, I was in a, 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 I was doing a big seminar, thousands of people, and someone asked me that question. They said they don't have the money to get started, and I cheekily said, I pulled out the, the keys to my car and I said, look, if I was to sell you my car now for three hundred dollars, would you find the money? And the person just went quiet, and they said, yeah, I would. So my thing is that sometimes, um, it's just really about p placing value on it. But at the same time, I appreciate that that might be a, a real situation. Forbes magazine says that there's at least 800 pounds worth of stuff, unwanted items in people's houses that they could sell on eBay, according to Forbes magazine. Right, you're laughing. You're probably thinking of the, some of the stuff, right, that you could put on eBay. Now, I'm not saying to everyone that you have to go and do that, but you have to kind of be creative, I guess, with this. Maybe if it means putting money aside, coming back in a, in a couple of months when you've got the money. Um, I know, so... True story, I hate this story because it's so crazy, but it's a true story. And you're gonna to get to know this man. He's, he's one of my mentors. So when Keith Williams joined Hyperfun, he didn't have the money to get started. He didn't have the money to get started. He was sleeping on his, on his mother-in-law's sofa and he had to borrow $1,000 to get started. As I speak to you right now, Keith Williams is making 5.8 million a month from Hyperfun. True story. You, hear his, you can hear his story for yourself. Pardon, sir? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I mean, you, you, I've been to a lot of conferences where the presenter will encourage people to, you know, could go into debt and to get credit cards, that stuff. I don't do that at all. You know, I just say, you know, do what you can to get started because this is phenomenal. If it means borrowing it, borrowing it. Um, if it means borrowing it from a friend or family member, you know what? There's such a thing as good debt. So a lot of people who are where they are right now is because they took um, that kind of decision, but in a controlled way. You know, borrowing $300 is not the same as maxing out your credit card for 20K, you know, when you put it into, into context. So I would say do what you can to get started. It works. Um, and yeah, it will be a very, very good decision. Yes. So this gentleman in so with the um, rebuy stuff, yeah, is there a fixed amount to rebuy? Say if I put in $500, what is the amount going forward? Does it have to change? What is it really? Yeah. Brilliant question. Excellent. Um, so the minimum to do a rebuy is, uh, is 50, 50 HU, $50. So if you start with $300, it will take you 34 days before you can do your first rebuy. $1,000, 10 days. Come in at 10K and you can do a rebuy every single day. It's the magic number. Um, so $500, it was, uh, would then be 20 days. 20 days to do a rebuy. 20 days, yeah. But what happens, every time you do a rebuy, you're shortening that time between rebuys. That's what's happening. So there's, there's a, a milestone that we celebrate in the academy and it's when you can rebuy every day. Is everyone familiar with the song um, Getting Bigger Every Day? It's a Christian song. They've renamed it now to Getting Bigger Every Day. Right? So, um, yeah, when you get to a point when you're rebuying every day, you get to sing that song and we, and we, we celebrate. Are you re you're re rebuying every day? You rebuying every day? Brilliant. Let's clap for them, guys. Rebuying every day. Absolutely phenomenal. So it's an it's a important milestone. Very important milestone. Sorry, sir. I'm high. Um, I still want to get my head around it. Um, so, this... Passive buying, is it different from the one you showed on the presentation where you labeled 300 to 10,000 and you said it was 0.5 interest every day? What's the difference? Between? You know, one of the on the shows you, you put up, it was 
you put up to 10,000 and he said it's 0 0.5 every day. I don't know if I got it right. Is it yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, one of the things I say to people when I'm peaking their interest, yeah. when I'm peaking people's interest, so I, sometimes I'll get, Uber, I'll get Uber places just so that I can speak to the Uber driver. And one thing I always ask people is, what would you prefer? Would you prefer, prefer to make 0.5% a day on your money? Would you prefer to make 15% a month? Or would you like to triple your money within 19 months? Which one would you prefer? So it's three options. Yeah? No, it's, it's basically all of them. It's all of them, really. So you will, um, you will get started. So let's say you start with $1,000. You will enjoy 0.5% um, on that until you've tripled your money. Yeah? Which is also 15% a month. Um, and you will obviously enjoy triple within 19 months as well. So, it's, yeah, it's all of them. So, if you're passive, then really you're just enjoying 0.5% a month for 600 days. If you're passive. If you decide to rebuy, then what you're doing by getting these mini contracts, um, is you get the compound effect. So, now you can grow. So, this is what happened to me. I joined April 2020. I, um, I didn't tell anybody. I was just doing my rebuys here and there. My, my guy would call me and say, have you done your rebuy? I didn't really know what was going on. But so what happened was, I, I joined April 2020. Then by December, I had grown my account from $1,000 to $8,000. And that's what really kind of blew me away. I was like, that's, that's pretty serious. So I had done more than just tripled because I wasn't passive. I was, because I was rebuying, I was a bit more aggressive. So that process... Um, is the compound effect. It's the compound effect. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I was going to ask, so for the rebuy, the minimum is $50, right? So it's not, so as you were saying, it's a, it's a new contract, basically, that, that happens. So you're not rebuying the original amount. It's just the $50. Okay. Absolutely. Um, so even though it's a mini contract, you won't notice it as a mini, it, it, it kind of goes back into the pending rewards. So whatever you've just tripled will go back into the pending rewards and you just see that big number there. So there was a time I'd, on one of the calls, I got, I got my wrist slapped by compliance, but on one of the calls we did recently, I did a $21,000 re rebuy live on the call. So then it took my account from a, whatever, what, 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 40 to almost 100K, but live on the call, it was crazy. Um, so you see that growth, and, and I think that's, that's the addictive part, is when you just see your account shoot up from this rebuy, you know, it, it, people get quite animated with their rebuys. So, the minimum is 50, but you can, you can do more. It just depends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that day, I did a, yeah, so you can do a multiple of 50s. Yeah, 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 of course, yes, I should have made that clear. You can do your rebuys in multiple, so you can do a big, you can do big re re rebuys and see a big change. It's quite powerful. Very, very powerful. You enjoy doing your rebuys? <laughs> it's very addictive. It's very addictive. I did a withdrawal today. I thought I would have, I would have been able to do a live rebuy, but I withdraw the money instead. And that's the, that can sometimes be the problem. You, you see a, a lump sum of money and it's a catch-22. Do I withdraw it and enjoy it? Or do I triple it and put it back into my account? You know, it can be, um, yeah, it's a good problem to have, I guess. Yes. I want to respect everyone's time, so if we maybe say last two questions. Um, are you limited in annual rebuy? Are you limited amount in your account? So the amount in your account when you, when you rebuy. Good question. Uh, there are no limits to how big the rebuy or how much you can have in your pending rewards or how much you can get started with. Um, when you join, you can um, get started with a three hundred, five hundred, or one thousand dollar package. Or a multiple of those. So if you're doing ten thousand, it'd be ten one thousand dollar packages. It's just a multiple. But yeah, absolutely no limits to your rebuy. Um, you can either toggle along the fifties, or you can just type in a number um, of the quantity of fifties that you'd like to do a rebuy. And there's absolutely no limits at all. Were you going to say, say something? Sorry, I was going to say because I didn't want him to leave this room before, um, because I know there's people here who are thinking about it, and Des is a very generous man. So, Des, can you, this is live now, okay, can you help some people here? 
who may be struggling, could you give at least four um, support for some people who wants to get started today? Could you do that? Could you help them to start the, if they want to start and, you know, get a package? Could you do that for them? Yeah, so we can do um, $50 towards um, anyone who gets started today, we can put $50 towards that package to help you get started. Absolutely, we can do that. No problem at all. So, in terms of, so really today is about taking action. It's about taking action. Um, action takers are the real money makers. So the best piece of action right now would be to register for your account. Register for your account. Um, everyone who registers for an account right now, um, we're gonna put your name into a hat. We'll find a hat or a bag. And I'm gonna pull out one of those names and I'm gonna fund that account with $300 so you can get started today. So let's get registered right now. If we could do that right now, if you could give her the, um, the link, maybe if you put the link on the screen. Or, yeah. So, so yeah, so, so let's start by, we'll get everyone registered. It's free to register, so don't worry about that. We'll just, we'll get you registered and then we'll put all of the names into a bag or a hat. I'll pull out one of the names and I'll fund one of the accounts with $300. I'm going to put the link on the screen and I'm going to get, um, I'll, put, I'll put the link in the username 